then there are some regulations standards and the legislation okay now due diligence now we know about the due care but what is due diligence any idea compliance really right hmm? user accountability and uh, making sure you're doing things by the standard exactly uh, from the organization point of view it will be a better, uh, it will be a better uh, example okay from the organization's point of view like user will be compliant to the standard or the to the uh, you know compliance that depends on to the user like if you talk about me, okay, I'm using uh, two passwords for my eight or ten, uh, eight to ten accounts. So I'm not compliant to the policy, okay, or any type of compliance. Okay, that's that depends upon the user. But when it comes to the organization, they will have to keep uh, themselves updated. Okay, due diligence is a type of that. Like for example. Uh, you have installed an antivirus okay installing an antivirus prove that okay you are compliant to something okay you're protecting your infrastructure okay but the antivirus works on the real time okay today's update the antivirus will be able to find out the attacks find out the uh, viruses or the malware till the day right but what happens tomorrow no one knows right due diligence is updating that antivirus with the signature database okay that is provided by the organization of the uh, the, 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 uh, the organization who developed the antivirus for you okay you have developed an antivirus for yourself then it is your responsibility to update it okay it's a it's basically due diligence is a legal term okay that the responsible person have not been negligent in discharging their duties okay so for that there are some standards uh, some uh, legislations over there okay now us have the sox servants and auxiliary act that mandates the implementation of the risk assessment internal controls and the audit procedures over there okay the computer security act of 1987 that requires the federal agencies to develop the security policies for the computer system that processes the confidential information Okay, and the FISMA is there, the Federal Information Security Management Act that was introduced to govern the security of data processed by the federal government agencies. Okay. Then the GDPR is there, General Data Protection Regulation. Okay, this basically is defined by the European Union. Okay, and most of the or, most of the countries basically, okay, or all the countries I, I can say that uh, you know deals with the customer base in Europe, they'll have to uh, you know adhere to GDPR. Okay, like the information consent should be there. Okay, why the information is being processed, how the information will be processed, how the information will be protected. Okay, the subjects, the data subjects like uh, the users will have the rights onto their data. They can uh, you know modify the data at any point they want they can delete they, they they can delete the data or they can request to delete the data and the organization will have to do that that's basically what gdpr says in a short uh, in a nutshell okay now most of the countries are following this uh, you know one way or another one way is just they are you know dealing with the organizations in europe or dealing with the customer base in europe another way is they are voluntarily, uh, you know, uh, voluntarily uh, abiding by the law over there, okay, of GDPR. What they say, they are implementing that. Okay, they are implementing the controls in order to be compliant with the GDPR, okay, voluntarily. Okay, for Europe, for European Union, it is mandatory. Okay, if you have the customer base in Europe, you have to follow the GDPR. GDPR guidelines. Okay. Now, then National Territory 
and uh, or the state laws are there okay the gram leach billily act for the financial services uh health uh, insurance portability and accountability act for HIPAA, for the phi that is personally health information or you can say the protected health information and ccpa california consumer privacy act that is for uh, you know just like the uh, approach uh, by gdpr okay the same approach is taken by uh, you know uh, the state legislation of uh, you know california in ccpa that is california consumer privacy act okay and then there is pci dss payment card industry data security standard any organization that have to you know uh, process the process the card holder information okay if you want to get the data or you can say get the payment receive the payment from the card okay, if you're processing that information then you need to adhere to the payment card industry data security standard and if you are not adhering to the pci dhs you'll not be able to uh what you can call get the payment gateways for example okay the the cards the visa cards the master cards the edm cards basically evm cards you'll not be getting those type of standard cards within the uh, organization to use until and unless you are pci compliant okay, these are the compliances basically okay any question any confusion I hope not. All good. Great. Now that's the end of the lesson number one, where we have discussed about the information security, the CIA, the confidentiality, integrity, and availability, plus the non repudiation We have discussed some of the security responsibilities over there about the CISOs, CSOs, information security. Uh, or system information system security officers and the technical staff and the non-technical staff and the managerial uh, uh, you know roles over there and then the duke we discussed about uh, the roles okay uh, we discussed about the responsibilities we discussed about the SOC we discussed about the DevSecOps we discussed about the CIRT CSIRT and CERT okay can be the emergency response team, computer security uh, incident response team, and the computer incident response team. We discussed about uh, some of the frameworks, the cybersecurity framework, the risk management framework, the ISO standards, the CIS controls, the benchmarks, the guidelines over there, right? And at last, we discussed about some of the regulations, laws, and standards, all right? That's basically the end of the lesson number one. Okay. So let's, uh, it's 10.43. So let's take the break for 15 minutes.